they look at you with the audio going off, then they're potentially spies. Wow. And I'm like, that's stupid. Such TikTok thing. That's <laughs> so such a TikTok thing. TikTok propaganda. <laughs> all right. Why are all my animals surrounding me? So. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. <laughs> all righty. Okay, so. While that's the majority of the party. Nice. Uh. <laughs> Was on the Spring Island. Fluke spent the majority of his time on the Seagull's Reach, sailing back to Lucida to gather more supplies. While sailing for about a month, um, the Seagull's Reach was stopped (laughs) and boarded by a young Navy captain named uh, Arled, um, who arrested Captain Hawks and Tomlin. Fluke, taking the moniker of Captain Hawks under a hat of disguise, sailing back to Lucida, gathering more supplies as well as a new crew to sail back to the Spring Islands to meet up with the rest of the group. Dimavin has been promoted from galley boy to quartermaster, and after getting supplies and a new crew, head back to the Tolder Islands to make a delivery and head back to the north side of the Spring Islands. Back on the Spring Islands, the group um, was traveling, so- or you were all traveling south towards Mossbourne, uh, the capital, but ran into a hang trial of a man who was being accused of murdering many people in the city of Madville. Uh, the man accused was surrounded by two groups of dryads, some that were green as the season of spring, and some as dark as a swamp wood in winter. Both groups. Uh, believing their sides of the story and one group <clears throat> and one group seeing one group seeing the man as a murderer but the others believing that his tales that he had been influenced under a dragon and the reason why he killed all those people after hearing the tales for the man in the dryad sir evan decides to pick up the man and intends him to return him to madville but moments later captain hawks appeared with rumpstillion in his arms after removing the hat, Fluke appeared instead of Captain Hawks. Uh, Fluke tell, told the event, or told everyone about his adventures the last couple months, and that Captain Hawks' his real name was Cian, and was the one on the wanted poster that you all saw in the Regal Beagle. Uh, Fluke and Demovin have been running the ship for the last four months, and Cian and Tomlin have been taken to the Grey Rock, the Navy prison. Island at the edge of the Termon Sea. Uh, the man who uh, was being accused um, revealed that he was under the influence of a female green dragon, Rotra. Um, her lair is somewhere in between Calterbury Castle and Madville. He also doesn't live in Madville but lives in Night Pond. And so the group, you all decided to let him go and head back to Night Pond. Um, you all then decided to head in the direction towards Madville instead of Mossborn because there was a circle of Fey that had been distracting Laura for the past 48 hours. After making it to the circle, uh, you were all attacked by Will-O-Wisps, which caused uh, many of you to go down during the fight. However, Laura, um, or during the fight also, one of Laura's spells summoned a green hag who was mad at her for dropping a house on her sister. Draxios even summoned a teapot with a dormouse inside. Eventually, the, the Will, the Wisp, and the Hag um, were dealt with, and you all decided to head farther east towards Madville before stopping to rest. While moving, Thulna became compelled to speak in riddles, but for the next five days. I lost five months. Okay. No, it's five days. Okay. You got the one-up one. So, <laughs> while, Laura, while, Laura, while Laura was attempting to cast um, Lumen's tiny hut, there was a small, um, or for a small campsite, the spell backfired, causing her to fall back onto the ground. She stood up and tried to cast it again, but this time, the cast of the spell caused her and Draxios to teleport north of the group's current location into the thick part of the forest where the green dragon's lair is said to be. And so... Shoot myself real quick. Do we have the hut? Have a gun? Yeah! So... You have a gun? No, I have a skewer tar. Alright. Sucks, it sucks. So... So this is where we're going to pick up. So... 
<laughs> so as you all stand in the middle of the Fey Wild Forest in this small clearing that you found, um, you see understand. Laura uh, raise her hands and start to give or cast the ritual spell for Lumen's tiny hut. And as she's just finishing the spell and the hut is starting to form, she and Draxios disappear. And within three seconds, the hut also disappears. What the fuck? <laughs> so you are. So the group is now standing um, in the middle of the Feywild, and two of your companions have disappeared. <laughs> That's a new one to me. <coughs> I look around. Is this, um, is this part of the spell? Is she gonna reappear? I go to where she was standing, and I just do this. What? <laughs> That might be a problem. Axios! Ah! What the fuck you want? Oh, <laughs> oh it's over there. Okay. There is no <laughs> response. <laughs> Did he still have the ancient artifacts? Yes. He was yeah. wearing it. He yeah. did indeed. Don't worry, they just turned invisible. Watch. I just. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to pull out your gun and watch. <laughs> <laughs> Kills me instantly. Just take this gun from my hand. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Catch the bullet. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Is there any arcana that I can figure out? Uh, as you kind of look around, um, there's still you still can kind of um, sense a little bit of arcane magic that's kind of still been yeah. there, but it's it's fizzled. It has, yeah. Like magic happened, but I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Ma- so yeah, you you know that the presence of magic was there, and then it's it just fizzled. Could I try and meditate to see if I can sense where the artifact went? <laughs> so. No waste of two spells for fucking nothing. <laughs> Um, you need to cast magic again. <laughs> I don't know. Really? <laughs> Seven miles I'm norther. Gonna, I'm going to say no, because that's not really how that works. <laughs> I mean, you would like to write into the lair. Now, if you're like, ca- if you're wanting to cast a spell, like locate object, that's a possibility, but other than that, yeah. Probably not. That's not how it's going to work. Alright, um... Well, maybe I should pop one of these shrooms and try and top that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, we don't need, I'm pretty sure they'll still find I too pop a shroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been an hour since well, you reached one. <laughs> what? Well, if he answers, I might be able to get babe. some insight. What we do know <laughs> is that we had a single location in mind as Madville. Oh, wait. <laughs> they, maybe they weren't there. Oh, that would be nice. But if they didn't, they should know to head to Madville. Let's think. It's where we were headed. Yeah. It is also late evening. Yeah. And you guys took a point of exhaustion, I'm pretty and sure. Not yet. Not yet. I think we should probably just... I'm... Sadly, the two people who can heal us is gone. <laughs> I'm literally D4 away from dying. We, they're not the only people who, <laughs> that can heal. And Goodberry. Goodberry. Yeah, uh, healing spirit. And you can. Maybe we should try and find a place to camp out. That's a great. I'm pretty well. It's bad. <laughs> and then we could try and head to Madville and see if they catch up. See if that's where they are. And if not, well, we might have to go scout. Yes. But I'm sure they know their yeah, way. If they know direction, oh, yeah. what's the most gonna explode in the brain? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the usual. Yeah. Make sure you close your eyes. Please. <laughs> so, I can't um, get up your eyeballs, it's too emotional right now. <laughs> in the name of Oeris, I hope they know direction. Captain Fluke, I have to be pessimistic, but is the crew not gonna revolt with you gone for months, potentially? What, what was the question? You won't be gone for months. Do you not know how oh. time works here? No, as long as they're yes. around him. Yeah. Guess what? Good thing you didn't. <laughs> <see>. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Draxios and I are nowhere near them. How does that work? Uh oh. Like, so do, do we just teleport to them? <laughs> because we're moving faster time wise than. He's not saying anything. You're telling the truth. He doesn't want to admit to it. Look at him. He's got it. You can't go. If we don't find them and we wait for them to Madville, it will take months. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. But our characters don't really know. Well, yeah. We do know that now. Yeah, because, yeah, because he, he mentioned said, yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I want you guys to talk like super slowly. <laughs> 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 Oh no! It's the dragon's forest. Slow down. We're going down. This gives us a lot of time to find them. Indeed. Die. Just starts running in circles. Hopefully, that's not how it works. I can't do that. I will trip on something. Well, now time is somewhat soft for us. In some ways, I don't know, it's still getting dark. I don't know. My brain hurts. Maybe the outside that. world doesn't get affected. Maybe they still do. I'm lighting a cigarette. Maybe they're in the outside uh, world. I have a pipe. I smoke a pipe. I, I really need tobacco, answers right? from my god. I don't hate that. Do I have normal tobacco? I don't know, are we camping or not? <laughs> I, I think we should. Sadly, I think we all do need yeah. to sleep. <laughs> Wasn't that what we were arguing, Laura? Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, no, no, we weren't arguing. It was just we need to travel more distance, and no matter what, really? wild magic would have happened. Who needs a hut when we have the trees to protect us? <laughs> Quiet <Lord>. down, old man. <laughs> what? <laughs> trees. <Tree hugger. laughs> How you hippie? These trees can hurt us. I know. <laughs> Why am I, I, I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. I, I smoked my tobacco and I fell asleep. <laughs> I think my rib is still cracked. Is it cracked? Eat a so, oh, that hasn't been healed? <laughs> Too bad Laura's not here. Oh. <laughs> Don't heal him, please. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm just gonna cast lightning and like strike. As you. <laughs> Just be like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and I think about that. <laughs> <laughs> you just see a quick glimpse of pew. What? <laughs> she missed. Yeah. Fine. All right. So, um, all right. So <laughs> let's. Okay. So as you all, I'm camping for the for the evening. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, um, as you all prepare uh, for the evening. Um, mm -hmm. So for. Uh, let's see, because there's Drunk. a group of one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so roughly, okay, um, you can split up if you um, decide to on watches. Basically, three to four-ish hours uh, per groups of three. And then you can get basically a full eight eight to twelve hours with the three groups of right. sleeping and not take the point of exhaustion. Okay. So, all right, do I have... Volunteers for first watch. No, I'll take I'll first. Be, yeah. I'll go first well, watch as well. I sleep. You're a wood elf, right? Yes. You don't need that much sleep? No. Okay, so he should be on watch. Because you're a yes. human, yeah? And I'm the captain, so I take responsibility. This is not your ship, shut your mouth. Uh, so I'm taking man <laughs> management of you guys. Andrew, I'm going to sleep through all three. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> he's, he's, I like he's it. Tired. <laughs> I like it. We do that. Like, okay, so who's on? So who's on first watch? You, you guys. If you want, take first. first. Yeah, can, no, right. I'll go first. Is my mini? I suppose I'll go after. Oh me. no, I didn't. Watch. Ken didn't give okay. me mini back, and I was gonna get you one too. And I forgot. Oh, I want to pick. I just sit down. My helmet unforms, and I just start levitating, while meditating, sleep slash. You know, Sadly, my real life weird. job is turning my D and D character into Jeff from The Wiggles. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> leaps everywhere. Oh, no, it cannot be stirred. This is you. Hey. In I am fully aware. Yeah, no, Ken still, Ken still painting her. Trust me, I really do. Okay, oh, so, so all right, so Orion and Evan. All right, so. All right, so everybody else finds a place to um, to rest. Um, all right, so Orion 
and um, Evan, what are you doing while you are on this watch for three, four hours? Um, I would probably. Hmm. Question. I think, based off of everything that's been going on, honestly, I'd probably try to seek guidance. So I'll just take out my holy symbol and just kind of do a prayer and, and see if I can get any kind of guidance or uh, confirmation or anything. Some okay. Comfort. All right. Those emotional support guys. Um, <laughs> I. You do the same. I help my dog get to rest, and then I, I do that. pretty much the same thing. I just. I start floating a little bit while I meditate just a little bit, trying to seek out my God to see if he has any sort of answers for where they might be trying to communicate with him. Okay. Alrighty, so that's what we're doing. Both of you roll me D100. Oh. Eighty-five. Seventy-four. Okay. Um, so you both call out and get no responses. You have no power here. Must be bad perception. It's the trees. Perhaps it is the trees. I kind of just look at my bag of mushrooms. Do we have a fire going? <laughs> I'd assume so. Um, we'll probably get some wood for the fire. I can kind of check out the easy. surroundings, like out, like if this is where we're camping, mm-hmm. I'd probably be um, patrolling or at least checking the area out, out at least fifteen twenty feet around the area. Okay. So by yourself or with Orion? Or... Um, I don't know. Do you want to go with me? Yeah, I'll go with you. Okay, we're going together. Okay. All right. So while everybody's back at camp. Um, can't, I was already assuming that the fire was already made and those of you yeah. were already sleeping. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, anything that the two of you would like to discuss while you're walking around, you're free to do so. So, something real quick before I actually fall asleep. Yeah. I'm going to kick the tree. Okay. Yeah, kick. You fool! Kick the tree. There's no response. Fantastic, I go to sleep. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're like, are you trying to die? <laughs> trying to make sure it's not you feel a slight rumble <laughs> goes to the next tree kicks it like well, you kick it harder just like like a tap, yeah just, just to like, like are you alive yeah, yeah, yeah. no okay <laughs> are you alive <laughs> all trees are alive <laughs> okay. yeah, that's true it is so yeah. it's, it's just some will fight back <laughs> alright so Orion and Evan how how does it feel being a green knight now well I've always felt um, like I was a green knight. <laughs> I felt oh, like I always knew what um, what the the code and the oaths were, um, but having a deeper understanding, it it's very different than why what, what I imagined. Hmm. Are you meaning to tell me you were like the biggest fanboy before, and, but now you are officially? No, done? no, he he did. Um, he basically did what he thought he was supposed to do, uh-huh. but it was misguided. Oh. There's actually a really good example. I, I can explain. It. <coughs> it's like being employed uh-huh. as a cop when, in reality, you're just a bodyguard. And all of a sudden, you were actually promoted to be a cop. And you're like, oh, thought, okay. <laughs> I right? can cards are cool. It's a bit overwhelming, to be honest. Um, dealing with anger and frustration. Um, and trying to be merciful, joyous all the time. Wow. Well, I know how that feels a bit. Ever since I can remember, 
I've always served my God as his protector. But I know that I How have life. protect a God? <laughs> his, let me rephrase, servant in a way. That sounds yes. bad too. <coughs> I uphold well, his No, that laws. sounds about right. <laughs> servant sounds about right. I uphold his laws. But I know that my whole life hasn't been this. I know that that some time ago I had a life before his servitude, and something happened, and he found me. And now all I can remember is being his servant. Are you trying to remember? Part of me wants to, part of me doesn't. I don't know how he would feel about me trying to rekindle my past. If I had anything to rekindle. Is it equal or about the same? It differs each day. Yeah, it's empty. And it is frustrating being on this island oh, for so joke. long. <laughs> you know for what a else purpose that my god Shh. has yet to tell me. <laughs> You'll get a chance to leave eventually. I feel like after we deal with this war issue, I hate princes. we'll be able to leave. I kings. I hate kings. I never really understood why uh, one person was in charge of so many people. All Are that you power for one man. <laughs> no one has any say to decide otherwise. I mean, they all do. We just have to. If enough people have a different idea, this is usually what ends up happening. People don't need to die. There's always another way. <laughs> I like to believe the same thing. That's what, uh, <laughs> what I was told. I was told to be merciful. There's some some things, some evils that can't be stopped with mercy. But enough I'm, about the war. Yeah. Uh, we don't, honestly don't even have much information on it. So why are you after these uh, artifacts? It was a task given to me. My God told me in one of my visions, or rather showed me in one of my visions, that these artifacts have deep importance and they must be protected from, they must be kept out of the hands of evildoers at all costs. And I can't let him down because I don't know what would become of my life without him. Do you know where they are? Any of them other than the one that no. Fishman has? I always had a feeling one might be on this island or somewhere around here. That's always what I tried to believe why I was here for so long, but perhaps it was fate that you guys arrived. Perhaps in some twisted way, the universe just has a plan for everything already set. Just playing the roles of what they give us. Oh. I don't really say anything about the. Oh. I just kind of. I'll just be in silence. I'm just listening. I'm gonna look at my bear. I'm gonna look at my bear wrist. Uh, would you look at the time? Watch is almost over. So while this is happening, <laughs> um, I'll need both of you to either give me. Uh, perception checks individually, or one of you can <coughs> aid the other one in perception check and give one of person advantage. What's your perception? Mm, my passive? No, or, just oh, in yeah. general. I have a plus three to perception. I'm plus four. New I'm just going to give you advantage. Okay. Yeah. I am murmuring the recipes that are just rolling around in my head. <laughs> They're a lot more dead based than usual. So, 20. 20? <laughs> no, I just hate cards. Okay. Um, <laughs> as, as you are walking and talking and kind of looking out into the darkness, um, you do see 
Again, the trees have, have started to change um, colors um, as they did once before. Oh, look, um, the trees are changing color. As the, <laughs> like as, they once did before. Yeah. <laughs> as, the, as the sun starts to um, disappear from the, from the sky and the moon and the stars have started to present themselves. Um, but other sky, than stars, other than the themselves. changes that you've used that you're used to seeing, um, it goes as a very smooth and calm um, four hours. This is this has been a very smooth and calm four hours. Ah, <laughs> uh, he that said the calm word. I agree. <laughs> Knock on wood. I just like tap a tree. Two hits of All right, so you are you doing come back? <laughs> <laughs> to camp. Um, next watch. It's I. Crump. And it's I. I. What happened? Okay. So Thulna. Thulna, I guess. <laughs> Good. Well, I think Thulna's oh, okay. going to wake up too. Like, <laughs> are you waking up? <laughs> okay, so you're still sleeping. Okay, so, so it's just. Then it's I. <laughs> yep, alright. So shock! Unless you want right, me to so wake up. I'm gonna. I'll wake up. Okay. Oh, okay, I was about to be like, up. shock! Guard. Uh-huh. Alright, so. Okay, shock. so. <laughs> All right, so Sir Evan and um, Orion, you uh, find a place to uh, rest for the evening. Uh, Gohan and Fluke, you you were woken up for your turn at the shift. Um, the the next four hours are yours. It's always rough in the late or rather early mornings. Indeed. Yeah. Pick it. Sure. Hey, I assume as much. Hey. I would place it near the fire for a little bit so it can warm up. Toasty <laughs> baguette. Mm-hmm. On a good. stick, <laughs> like a marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just like on guard at the fire. <laughs> His hands are kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> Starts running around. Being why, why are you guys in such a predicament? You guys choose a war and you don't know which side is you want to be on, but you've decided to be on a side. Well, it's an excellent question, but at the end of the day, Sir Evan is my friend, and this war is important to him, so it is important to me. I'm just afraid that the the months spent on the ship by myself is, uh, I don't know, I mean, it's only been three days for you, it's been three months for me, and I've only known you for just about half or double that time, so... It's, it's been a while since I've last met you all, simply. And it's uh, challenging to just be thrusted into a war when I know that I have a crew to manage and a captain to save. Yes. Well, we'll get back to that as soon as we possibly can. Uh, this island is relentless and merciless. I don't think it wants us to leave. It certainly seems that way. Speaking of which, uh, I'm going to mark in a tree, uh, just using my cut list. Um, I don't know. A, right, uh, the, the I can't remember the ta- the cavern, not ta- tavern, there we go. Uh, the Regal Beagle. I want to place a Regal Beagle uh, logo okay. on the tree there, so just in case they find their way back here. Be careful doing that. Why? It might eat you. <laughs> Does the tree eat me? <laughs> <laughs> and, and an arrow pointing towards Madville <laughs> too. But okay, um, so you take you pull out your dagger and you start carving um, the sigil of the tricolored beagle um, with an arrow uh, pointing east towards Madville. Um, Nothing seems to come awry. The tree doesn't seem to move or care. Oh, thank goodness. It was too early for this nonsense. It's a good thing. I, uh, was, like I said, it, uh, it was terrifying to nearly witness death. Oh, I have only a couple of hours from now, realizing that the crew would have been Yet, without a captain again, and you guys no way to find the said ship, so. 
Yep. <laughs> well said, Gohan. No man of many words. <laughs> yep. Alrighty. Um, same thing. Uh, perception checks. Uh, want you either do individual rolls or give one person advantage. Okay, I have a plus four. Plus five. Okay, I'll give you advantage. Okay. That is a ten or a twenty-one. Correct. Okay. Um, as uh, you stand, or as you both sit next to the fire, kind of just kind of having this conversation, and um, you kind of and start to carve um, the regal beagle symbol into the thing. Uh, Fluke, you notice it first, though, um, as you're both looking. Um, you kind of see um, movement um, to the uh, east of the campsite. Um, but it doesn't appear to be moving closer to you or to the party, um, but it does seem to kind of keep a distance. Stalking um, or just passing? Just kind of passing by. Um, there do seem to be some shadows just kind of stop and kind of look towards your direction, um, but after a few moments, they seem to just keep moving by. Not too uh, take action or anything. Yeah. See that? Oh, I think I do. Yeah. What do you spot with your little eagle eye? <laughs> it seems like Should just I a creature see? just walking by, but it definitely spotted us. What did you say creatures? Look at all the shadows. Did you say creatures or creature? Creatures. Yeah, there's a handful out in them, but it doesn't seem like they're stock and prey, more just following a path. Yes. It's awfully intriguing, is it not? As long as they're not bothering us, let them do the vid. That's what I would say. We need a rest. That's what I would say. I was a loser. Do they do anything else? Mm-hmm. Guessing it's the next shift, then? Uh, yeah. The four hours goes by, and you both... Go and I do that to pop my ears. Wake up, oh, fool enough for the last four hours. Fool enough, wake up. You can have room still in with you on the shift if you need it. And your dog. <laughs> and it. <laughs> not to be alarmed, but there is movement over there. Do not go exploring. They don't harm us. They. We don't target them. Honestly, I forgot about that baguette. There's a warm baguette by the fire. <laughs> I go into goblin form and just go into the baguette. <laughs> Alright, so, um, Fluke and Gohan, uh, you go back to sleep. Um, try to get the remaining rest for the evening. Um, Thulna, you are awake um, with the, the company of uh, a young Rumpstillion. As well as this uh, ghost dog that you've only been familiar with for roughly 48 hours. From Sumian looks wiser. For the three months. <laughs> Is it the beard or something? No, it just looks wiser. Oh. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Fuma. How are you? Well, he can speak. <laughs> no, he's like an older, raspier voice. Master <laughs> Shifu. <laughs> 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 Master Shifu. Bastard gave Dobby a sock. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, how's it been? Oh, I guess it was riddles. <laughs> Where art thou for you? I don't know any riddles. <laughs> I forgot to look them up. I speak in riddles. <laughs> if you are justice, <laughs> please do not harm. <laughs> um, what is the yeah. price for your uh, it was, uh, oh. it was kind of tough. Um, the, the, the ship's um, a lot. Um, Fluke was kind of sad for there for a little bit. Not sure what he was going to do. I like um, was sad. But um, he's he's okay now. <laughs> captain, I guess. my captain. Where are I thou? put in a riddle of of asking why was why was he sad? Well, I mean, it was, it was it was a lot. If um, the bird cries, you... why does he call? <laughs> 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 it feels more like philosophy. He was. Is philosophy not a riddle? I think I think he was sad for 
for just the fact that uh that you all left for a little bit and then he kind of came back to himself and then when uh when the captain and Tomlin were taking uh and he had to take over as captain for a while uh, it was it was hard um we didn't really know what to do and we've kind of just been making it up as we've gone along can I add C vehicles for my proficiency? No. We can talk about it. Okay. Fuck <laughs> 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 up! He's not as a. Uh, he's not as a. Uh, stingy as he tries to make himself out to be. No, I'm very sure, Captain. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I got promoted, I gotta stop being a thief. Dang it. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> he makes like, fresh enough, like, approval, like, good job. Uh, He's no. kind of become straight and the narrow a little plan. bit. We'll become the captain's gill from the crew, give back to the crew their own gold. Pay <laughs> them in their well, own. No. <laughs> Terrible businessman. Here's your money. I was missing this much. Exactly. That sounds like cordism. <laughs> Shuck walks up to Rumstoy and just kind of looks at him questionably, starts sniffing him. You're weird. <laughs> I, I agree. I'm sorry, we can't spell him back. <laughs> yeah, no, he just looks at him. He's like, You smell code. <laughs> and my ghost tongue goes around through the tree behind the Why do you get to play? Why does room sound like I technically play all the pets. <laughs> Mine just makes noises and mine doesn't talk yet. No. There it is. Yes. Dogs! <coughs> They're do, outside. Do you where it was like that? <laughs> and at that moment we right. hear the dogs barking, um, something's approaching. Well, uh, you make a perception check, Thorna. Zero, though. No one cares, no one cares. <laughs> Nine. Down, Nine. The dog is a ghost. You're not right. So, <laughs> um, yes, as uh, Shuck is barking, you kind of look out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you kind of look out into the forest, and um, Your dogs are perfect. you start to see um, the same shadows that Fluke and Gohan were telling you about. Um, they don't seem to be moving closer. Uh, but just as the sun is starting to uh, come up, um, as the last hour of your watch kind of approaches, um, you start to see that the shadows are humanoid figures. As they are um, moving... Um, out of the thicket and are starting to kind of turn and move their way towards uh, Madville. And um, as you look, um, you're not able to get any specific details except for they all seem to be um, wearing um, green, uh, dark green uh, robes of some kind, but you're not 100% sure um, yeah, the good. type of humanoid these are, but they are definitely humanoid in nature, walking on two legs, but they wear long green robes. I quietly wake up everybody and tell them to be quiet, and I tell them to follow that group. So you're waking them up early? Yes. Wakey, wakey, we gotta go follow the group. What? Why? I we we are aware of the group. Follow them. Mm. Follow them. <laughs> what? Why? Because they're going to. Do I know they're going to Madville? They're heading in the direction of Madville. Heading in the direction of Madville. But we can go to Madville in the morning. It is morning. Then I go. Well, shucky darn. <laughs> Eat this bag and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So all right. Because of this, 
Wait, are you waking the whole party? <laughs> <laughs> Can I read Sure. I refuse. Okay. Who's in that? Luke is not waking up. I refuse. Luke is not waking up. Okay, okay. Just just so you know, in game mechanics, if you wake the party early from a full rest without me saying uh -oh. you've got the benefits of a full rest, uh -oh. then everyone's getting a point of exhaustion. Oh. oh please don't. Oh no 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 no. no. I was not harmed <laughs> in the last encounter. <laughs> I was. I did not need I was at full hit points plus you, temp HP, so you don't I'm want disadvantage on totally fine. No, I don't want disadvantage. I scratch. Yep, everybody continue to sleep. <laughs> Tiny whiny stuff and that didn't ever happen. <laughs> you would be yeah. the only one that I'm actually just, is yeah. exhausted. We'll just yeah. huh? She would be the only one that's not exhausted because she it's, got her eight hours. It, it would be complicated, but yes. Well no, Evan wouldn't be either because he technically gets full rest after four hours. Yeah. While I Yeah. So a couple died. would have exhaustion, a couple would not. Yeah. That's funny. Basically the three of you would have exhaustion, the two of them would not. She's not an elf. She's a human. She had a full eight hours. Yeah. Oh never mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> During the first two watches. Yep. Okay, never mind. Hmm. What? Yes, the Rolex. <laughs> yes. I, I imagined waking up the bird. <laughs> and then I was like, that doesn't you sound like she a bad No, it's perfect. She <laughs> fell asleep on her watch. Oh, yeah, fell yes. asleep on her watch. In the last hour, And she... then you dreamt of waking up Gohan. <laughs> you dreamt exactly. of doing no. your watch. That would be yeah. such a lame dream of you doing your job. <laughs> I have been getting those lately, thank you. <laughs> And, no, and it actually, that's because I thought I was okay, running late. So, <laughs> especially right. it was so like you watch, that you so you watch these figures walk, make their way east towards what you would assume would be Madville, um, and you let everybody sleep the remainder, and then after a the the fourth hour of your watch, you do um, everybody will now gain the benefits of a long rest. You have Except survived, me. You have survived the night. Except me. Okay. And okay. Sorry, sorry sad. Who's just saying not asleep? Now everybody is <laughs> okay. So it's now a new day. Ooh. Oh, what a beautiful morning! I'm so glad no one woke me up. Wouldn't that have been? <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's like trying to take her butt. Like, yes, that would have been. Uh, <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> what is the? Is it the labyrinth? Those bird creatures? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, dark. Good yeah. Dog. Dark crystal. Dark crystal. Who's a good boy? Oh. Oh. Well, you could then. It's indeed. Yeah, I did. Why? Well, so chip crumbs wouldn't get everywhere. <laughs> That's right called there. being polite. And you Thank put it you. in your pocket. Or you throw it away in the oh, trash can. Right? I go to pet my dog. And just <laughs> you <laughs> imagine petting your dog. Yeah, yeah, show me the word last time. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Am I holding arms, Dean? You're no. very. I'm still in your boy, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> 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 no. 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 What? No. What you no. Say? no. Repeat it. Wait, <laughs> hey, what? No. They wake you up. Hear it? Yes. <laughs> they, they wake up from setting us back to fluke. Okay. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> he was about to say, Rumstone knows who's his daddy. But we're going to move on. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> yes, technically yes. Ramzoya knows who his dad is. Okay. His father. Just like Fukasaku knows who his mommy is. Okay. Who's, a, who's a good boy? Shock. Shock speaks me. Actually, his intelligence is minus three. Be like, a good boy. Is the good boy? I think. I am so excited to meet uh, Squirrel! I'm so glad it's very like, bloodhound and not something so much smaller. It's like a chihuahua. <laughs> like, as long as you're not doing like a scrappy doo voice, I'm good. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, that's Scrappy Dabby Doo! Puppy Power! Everyone hates Scrappy Doo. I love Scrappy. No. That should be one of the D100s. <laughs> <laughs> no, the movie doesn't count. Okay. Oh, it absolutely does. 
the <laughs> no, the real Scrappy Doo from the cartoon is much oh. better than the st- stupid live action version. I was, but that's the live action Scooby Doo is a whole lot better. Than no, Scrappy <laughs> <laughs> Doo cannot it's a die. Classic. No, Scrappy Doo doesn't die. Look. Oh, I thought it was a clue. <laughs> 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 so Those are clues. He just <laughs> does really cool things. <laughs> he just, oh, he, just so... he just disappears for a little bit. I thought he exploded. <laughs> in the movie, in the live action movie, no. yes. He in the cartoon. Like also a demon. No. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he was. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he was a demon with a, a battle yeah. I actually forgot about that scene. Now I have a new... Is, they they were like about demon. to sacrifice somebody. So yeah. Just a deep voice like, Scrappy Dappy Doo. Ah! I love how anyway, knew exactly what they were doing. Uh, they made a, a I'm going to just fly up. Guy with white smoke coming out of the, the back of the truck. Oh, Not the exhaust pipe, and he's always hungry. That's right. They knew exactly what they were doing. They've been doing. They, they, you literally watched the original '70s yeah. cartoon. They, yeah. they were stoners, one hundred percent. Yep. Uh, I fly <laughs> up, seeing if there's a, any campfire that hopefully has more hydroxyls. I said I fly up to see if there's a uh, pillow smoke of like where a camp that Draxios and more may have been. Um, <laughs> That's convenient that you can fly. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Uh, I'm going to say... Yes. <laughs> I'm going to say no, you don't see a campfire. Okay. Just pretty clear skies. Yeah, pretty clear skies. Shot. Fly back down. Don't see anybody. Well, they still could be underneath the trees, but... I wonder if it's here. The best uh, option yep. is... No. That's mad Are you ready to kill someone? He just smiled. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. We survived our Ryan night. is a bad boy. He's got his ear pierced with a clip. I think, uh... A clip that says... Should we head off? <laughs> Attack. <laughs> Attack. Oh, it's what what everyone just... Everyone deserves a fair shot. We survived our night. Your earring says attack. Nice. You shut your mouth. It was the 80s. I probably didn't. Oh, we're about to find out what happened. Alrighty. So, where are you guys going? What you doing? Madaville. Uh, All right. Fulna. All right. Uh, um, did, did anything happen? Did you see anything? Nope. I need a charger. Okay. Nobody. I need a charger. Hello. Oh. Okay. Oh, I don't know what you said. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that kind of hurts my ears. Oh no! Right. You just said oh, you got the Android. Fluffy, just fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dylan's phone. That's why we. I don't think I. Go get the stick. Can I speak with animals? I have like I really don't. bond with animals, but I don't have. Yeah, I've got a animals. So what you balance me? He's gonna kill me. Yeah. Okay, so you all get camp set up and or get camp cleaned up. And Gohan, you making breakfast? Yes, indeed. I okay, am. so roll me your your stuff. What are you making for us today? I am making you. <coughs> Please be nice. Maple bar. Rog. We still have Put not. Put shrooms in everything. Rice and smoked meat. Breakfast. Rice? That's been only Ooh. water, stew, and bread for a month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you're going to love this one. All it's in one bowl. <laughs> Soggy <laughs> bread. Stew. 24. Nice. I like it. Plus Good. So your temp HP stuff? I oh, think I, I still have my temp HP. Everyone will gain 6 temp HP if you don't already. We shouldn't have any since we long, you, long rested. That's true. Oh, yeah. After long rest, it does appear, but you just gained the six back. Yeah, it didn't take it off when I long rested. Yeah. Yeah. Still six. All right. So you guys so pick up camp. Mm-hmm. Yep. And start heading to Madville. All right. Yeah. Time warp. To the, Please no. To the other time. <laughs> to the ultimate timeline. Where are we? Boop. <laughs> oh and a alternate universe. All right. So. Wild magic is real. 
<coughs> we fall. Two All right, so uh, Laura and Draxios, you are <laughs> teleporting. So as so Laura, as you were casting your spell of uh, the hut, um, you have it, and the moment that you were you finished casting the spell, you saw the hut form, and you then disappear. And as you look up. The hut is gone. All of your friends are gone. And the only one standing next to you is Draxios. Hi. Draxios, you see the same thing. Everybody else has disappeared. The only one you see standing with you is Laura, and there is no tiny hut. I don't know what happened. First I was knocked on my ass, and now I'm now we're here. Away from everyone. And eh, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh truce. Please don't kill me. (laughs) 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 Ow, I scratched myself. (laughs) (laughs) He is what? I just start walking away. (laughs) Um, well, before I start walking behind him, I'm gonna drink my greater healing potion. Okay. What the blood? Orange juice. (laughs) <laughs> so greater so it's 4d4 four. Four plus 4 okay well if you're just going to drink it I'm just going to give you the max heal for oh. it so it'd be 20 20 hit points you should have taken he's not wait he is evil but he's not <laughs> <laughs> okay. it's like you don't know that <laughs> so as you as you guys look around um where you've landed um, has been a very particular spot. Uh, but as you kind of look around, you just see um, these walls of vines and thorns just kind of encapsulate this entire area of the forest. And it's 10 feet high, and the best you can tell is 10 feet thick in all directions. Um, I have a torch. Croc. It's the middle of the night. What are the two of you doing? I'm gonna lay down and go to sleep. (laughs) Croc. What? (laughs) What? (laughs) Thorn covered area. It's like a wall surrounding us. Croc. There's no reason to leave. Mm-hmm. I drink my being basic healing potion. <laughs> okay. So ten. I want to be healed, okay, just in case we encounter a dragon. <laughs> there a dog. 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 All right. Dog. So you both are just sleeping. Uh, I'll take first watch. So you're going Because right. mm. I'm an elf. I'll mm-hmm. just take first watch. Okay. Do you want to take the next watch? No. <laughs> 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 um. <laughs> I'm already trying to go to sleep. I'm like... <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll watch then. <laughs> She's just like... <laughs> Alright. Perception check with disadvantage. Her. I don't have dice, by the way, so. Well, here. Well, there's the bag of bags down there, too. So, as you are trying to look around, um, it beca- the forest becomes very dark. Because of the um, the thick uh, vines and brush, and also because you're after about an hour or two, it's even to start to the little area pocket that you were in have started to fold over uh, you and Draxios, what? and it started to um, seal up, 
Um, however, the only thing that is seeming to keep um, the, the vines at bay is the small little campfire that you have. Um, seems to give you at least a ten foot radius around the campfire. Well, um, that a disadvantage? Because you... Think about how I've described the area, Crystal. Dark? I want to be completely in the dark about So this. literally, the only thing you see is a shell of vines. Oh. And I'm sorry. thick. Oh, okay. That's all you see. Oh, okay. But, with your seven... Just all my life savings. I will say oh. that you do hear... The sounds of the forest echoing. Mm. Do you hear that, Drexius? Mm. I pull out my dagger and kind of just arm myself, <laughs> ready to just try and shank someone. <laughs> Okay. So, four hours go by. Give me a constitution check. Oh, I can't see if he wants to take a shift. You can try. But, hey, Drexius. Am I fully rested now? <laughs> I mean, it's been four hours. Have you been meditating <laughs> yes, yes. or sleeping? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, yes. do you want to take next shift? Fuck. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. I just do my meditation. I just sit with my dagger in my hand. Okay. I'm not playing my lyre. I'm just... Doing anything, Drexius? Mm. Just gonna chill there, I guess. Alright. Give me a perception check with disadvantage, good sir. It's either a 26 or a 27. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, so as the as the night comes, um, it's about uh, I'd say it's by this time it's it's about midnight, from what you know. Um, but at this time, so with that, while you can't really see anything, you really start to hear. Um, the movement of the branches and the vines and you hear the scurrying of little feet that you can only assume are rats and mice amongst other other small woodland beings the forest really comes alive in this area at this night, point at night um, but with that you even kind of as you're just looking around based on the campfire as Laura sleeps um, you just see um You see about 20 pairs of little eyes just all staring at both of you. Mm. During this time, and they don't seem to move. They don't seem to look away. But all 20 pairs are just staring at the two of you. I tell her little... Mm-hmm. I'm gonna start talking to them. Okay. Mm. So you're casting speak with animals? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And that's a first level spell? Mm -hmm. Oh no. Okay. Um as you get ready to cast this spell, remember you also still have a dormouse and a teapot with you too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um so, okay. So as you cast the spell, um, you don't feel the presence of another spark of magical energy when you cast the spell. Um, but as you um, prepare the spell, um, what are you saying? Like to the creatures, or just yeah? Well, like, what are you saying? Because if you're doing speak with animals, what are you? What are you saying to them? I'm gonna give them a good old fashioned hello there. Mm -hmm. Um, they all in unison just kind of look at you and they, you kind of see them do like the little tilt their head kind of thing 
and one of the mice um, kind of scoots out a little bit and just looks right at you and goes, We're just checking on you. For her. Oh, I open the teapot. You mean her? No. Oh. She throws it. Okay. You're she, useless. She doesn't like visitors. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so, why are you here? Dumbass teleported us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like her. She can have her. (laughs) That could be arranged. (laughs) (laughs) She's screaming in her sleep like... (laughs) Meditation, I can hear the... What the fuck? (laughs) You know nothing. Meditation means you're in your room. I shouldn't have gone to sleep. She definitely likes to have new playthings. She dances. She <laughs> likes that. Sway the dragon. And she's always around. She's always uh, hanging on other women, so uh, that, might, that might be helpful. Hey, yo, shipping. Okay. Is she? Is she good at doing as what she's told? And following directions. This is what I just yeah. escaped from! Oh my god. I mean, if not, you can always hit her with a whip or something. <laughs> I'm I'm I saw that. What was that? The clip. Oh yeah, the clip fell off my head. Don't kick me. I don't think she'll need that. <laughs> Yo, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, yo, bro. Well... If it's something you're interested in. And as that happens, you just kind of turn and look, and part of the vines just start to separate and move. And oh. as the flame extends a pathway to a little bit to the northwest, just kind of opens up. <laughs> uh. It's okay. No, it's not! Do not lie to the child. (laughs) (laughs) My character's old. Sleepy darts. (laughs) Are you (laughs) serious? Are you serious? This is awesome. I love this. You might. Do you need a net? You have one. I think there's plenty of us to carry her. (laughs) (laughs) You okay? Are you serious? <laughs> no, I'm not okay. I hit this bathroom, just, but I gotta see this. I really <laughs> want to say if they can have her just so I can visualize that she got taken away by mice. <laughs> what? <laughs> see, this is why I stepped out of the room, because I want to be completely lost. So, okay. No, I'm going to the living room. I can do that. Where was he? What's in it? Spoken like a true businessman. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm gonna dabble on slave trade now. Who knows? One night with the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. My charisma is low. <laughs> She's willing to offer you treasure. <laughs> Pieces not seen in a very, very Oh, you mean like this? <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> yes. That's interesting. I'm valuable, see? <laughs> <laughs> Not one, but two big ones. <laughs> Intelligence. Low. <laughs> Wisdom? <laughs> very high. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> she... Oh. She's very interested in you, too. Mm-hmm. What's she look like? <laughs> <laughs> the most glorious creature you've ever seen. A bat. I don't know. I just came from the town over there He's and that the... chick had rainbow titties. He's made the artifact note to the dragon. <laughs> the RGB lights <laughs> on. She had RGB titties. 
That's pretty she, glorious. She can be whatever you would like. <laughs> huh. Nosebleed. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of things are true of dragons. Like the shepherd. <laughs> of gold. It's canon as shit gold. <laughs> I didn't see her. Are we doing an event already? Take a shit, why don't you? Uh, in the D D podcast I'm listening to is like the very last battle the Top guy's like shit. man. What the, what is Who the changed that? That was common. Is it the, is it the, the bronze one that I see in the just before? Square. That was a man. <laughs> she has the most glorious emerald <laughs> green skin. It's canon. That's amazing. She flows oh, with the um, wind like trees in a summer breeze. You let the breeze. dragon know the artifact. He's an idiot. The artifact is missing? No, no just... Not yet. Sh- Flirting? I'm trying not to have a heart attack. Dylan's just flirting to your mouse. <laughs> yes, do a dragon. Oh. I'm trying not to have a heart attack. My heart is beating so fast right now. So, uh... And I can't stop dragon. it. dragon... Because the bronze one that we talked to said that we should probably stay away from her, didn't he? Yeah. Well, he seemed like a nice enough guy. Like... Oh, no. What about just her? She wants to see you both. Uh, look what you've done. <laughs> we're gonna lose you, two party members. You interest her even more. It is a aquatic The yes. playthings <laughs> are fun, but what you hold has more value. I take my hand away from my penis then. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we the mouse looks down and looks back at you. <laughs> That's right, the mouse had to look down. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really big oh. mouse. <laughs> <laughs> it's a possum. <laughs> and he goes, and he just looks at you and goes, Ah. Oh. She's fine with that too. (laughs) 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 She thought. (laughs) And you're not. (laughs) This is a really messed up Ratatouille, and I don't like it. It said something that I was holding, so I was like, give them the teapot with the other mouse in it. (laughs) The item on your arm. She is My very God. much interested in. I can't. It is mine. It is my hoard. <laughs> she can give you more. How much? <laughs> Press X. <laughs> more than you could ever imagine. Oh no, I can imagine a pretty big sum. <laughs> The lady wishes to see you. I wish she she wishes to see you tonight. No. At this such late of the hour. Nighttime. (laughs) So (laughs) risque. I think that's called a Mm -mm. booty call. That's what it's called. It's a booty call. It's a booty call. We're getting booty call right now. It's also probably like an elder dragon, too. Uh, She's had his experience in <laughs> Remy, get well, like, I don't know. I don't know. I was told by the, the nice one to, that, that she's not very nice. Seems like you're lying to me. Is she nice? She's very nice. <laughs> Doubt! <laughs> I just like the idea that Drax was just yelled out <laughs> doubt. doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're lying. I think they're lying. Did it happen? Okay. Can you roll an inside check? Sure. Crap. Let's calm my nerves. <laughs> Seven. Oh, okay. The mouse oh, believes was... everything oh. they're saying. I'm kidding. You're on the twenty. A root beer. Everything. <laughs> 
I'm no, saying soda. everything the mouse is saying, it believes it's to be true. It's okay. So you're saying you've never seen it hurt someone? She only hurts things when they don't listen to her. I ain't an interested in being no, uh, no slave. She doesn't hurt. I'm calling myself a gold digger. <laughs> 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 she gives us purpose. I'm and in return, no. we help her. <laughs> oh, you already have a purpose! <laughs> What's your purpose? <laughs> I'm sure she can make your purpose better. <gasps> can she breathe underwater? <laughs> of course, and stuff. <laughs> she says yes. I don't fucking believe that you just straight talk to her like that. You're a common mouse. She sees you right now. <laughs> I instantly fell on my chest. I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> the mouse yeah, looks up and down you again. <laughs> she's lacking what she's sick on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buttons and buttons. Yeah. She's very interested. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Another. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be asleep anymore. You're meditating, you? Yes. It's not how it works. Oh. <laughs> I know. That's she why has I to be zoned out, zoned out. Yeah, they're like in a dream, essentially. Whilst, I don't like, want to be in a dream anymore. Oh, that's the worst form of awareness. Okay, yeah. then. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a... like A, a lucid dream? Kind of. Because it, it, you see like your future oh, and... Past and stuff when you're in that. Oh, uh, very, premonition! Yeah. You have very vivid dreams, isn't it? Yeah, right now I'm having a vivid dream of being handed over to the fucking dragon! Had, nope, that's not what you see. I had a premonition there. Anything you see, anything from your past, more yeah. than your future. Or things that you hope to see in the future. I had a dream that I was pretty hey, breaking free from a dragon! <laughs> Minor possibility. But. <laughs> Let me look at my list. <laughs> Do I care? What would, what would my friend Gohan think if I took this armband off and gave it to someone else? Or your bodyguard. <clears throat> hmm, that's actually a good question. I don't have a bodyguard. I just have a guy that follows me. <laughs> he likes me for some reason. Yeah, I've never told him why I like him. He'd probably say... I just say, saw him the first session, I was, I was like, I like you. He'd probably say the reason why we're on this whole spiel was because of these items, and it would have been a waste of time if we were to lose them. And I'm pretty sure I'm the first one to sign up on this ship. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> so I'm like, hmm. The Captain Hawks isn't with us anymore. You don't, wait, he doesn't need it anymore? Or do you just assume that he doesn't need it anymore? No, Captain Hawks isn't with us anymore. Oh, snap. Captain Hawks is very much with us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm he. He is me. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, I don't think I can do it. Two plus two is four. Why is one and three? I have some <laughs> level of morals. Okay. But. She'll be waiting for you if you change your mind. Yeah. And they start to scurry back. He's square backwards. <laughs> Within. I looked at the little mouse in the teapot and I was like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Am I still there? <laughs> I, 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 I Did he give me away? I have a key in my pocket. Let me make sure, let me look at it again. I don't ass. think it has. Hey, Dylan. You want the rest of the food for? There's three pieces of it. I saw. <laughs> barbecue chicken and bacon. Uh, oh, that sounds... I mean, I have a piece, too. I already ate. I ate half of it for lunch. I ate ten nuggets and fries. Nope, it doesn't have an intelligence. <laughs> what do I have an unintelligent mouse with me? <laughs> he just kind of looks at you. He's gonna stay in there forever. 
He shakes his head, yes. Alrighty. You're not gonna warm it up? Oh wait, I think I did have him sing last time, Twinkle Twinkle Little Bat. So yeah, he's gonna say yes. We can't have two crackhead anti-friends in a group. We're going to kill each other by accident. So, I almost knocked them all over. But yes, another, the four hours has passed. Laura, you've awakened from your meditation. Uh, Draxios is standing is there having a... Long a yeah. yeah. Having an argument. Well, I'm not, I'm not letting them do it until I say you've, you've achieved a full night's of rest yet. <laughs> so, no, you don't get anything back yet. Oh. Um... I was already at full health, so I didn't even need to sleep. <laughs> so, well, you'd get exhaustion if you didn't. Um, so, you wake up four hours. You still have four hours, technically, before a long rest would ensue. Um, but you see, you wake from your meditation to see Draxio sitting there arguing with the Dormouse in his teapot. Why don't you get... A Teapot and a mouse. I you had it. Oh, nice friend of yours. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> nice to have company that likes you, I guess. I like me. Not that I don't like you or anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of here by force. <laughs> accident. Oh, um, well, you're still his company. I'm sure, he likes you. Don't like me. He, I, I never said that. But, I like you just fine, you're my friend. Please don't kill me. I'm just here and saying something happened. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I'm gonna ask the mouse its name. I'm just gonna call it Mouse. <laughs> mouse. That's fine. Mouse and Mouse. <laughs> like Kratos. Boy. Did anything <laughs> happen while I was up? Boy. Yeah, there's the way to go. Why? Where? The path. As you look, there's a, a path that has just kind of opened up <laughs> to the northwest. That wasn't there before. How'd you do it? Did you burn it? Maybe. It appeared. Oh, that's nice. Oh. You can go that way. I'll go that way. We'll find someone eventually. Hmm? Which way? The opposite direction. Where I'll go. Oh, so you don't want to go on the pass? No. no. <laughs> I can just walk through them without getting hurt, really. <laughs> so, I can just blink a boots through it. Yes. Summon dog and teleport. <laughs> So, in order to get the benefits of the long rest, we gotta okay. complete the last four hours. Oh. I can take next watch. If you just want to chill and talk to your mouse, I can take next watch. Oh. So, in the well, keeping watch, is that. You don't get a rest off of that just from staying up? So, the way the rests work is like, so you do it in shifts. Yeah. So, where everybody gets eight ish hours by taking four, three to four hour shifts yeah. throughout the night to make sure camp is safe while everybody rests and moves. Yeah. So. So yes, technically after the four hours, you would you would get the benefits of it. She would get her benefits after four hours. So technically, yes, you guys are fully rested at this point in time. Okay. Hmm. We're fully rested. Because you're healthy. Oh. But it's like 2 a.m. Yeah, so I don't feel like leaving. Mm. Okay. I, don't, I don't like the dark. Oh, oh. Just kidding, I love the dark. I was say, like, <laughs> next watch, <laughs> then. <laughs> so don't heal yet? No, you can't. Okay. I'll gain all my spell slots except for the spell slot that I just used. Are these bad. onions? Oh. Yeah. Do you not like onions? I don't. Mm -hmm. Bring me! What's wrong with you? Onions are really good. Well, onions are really good. Onions are really good. You're a sensitive bit, not gonna knock. That's not very nice. So we're just waiting until morning. Sure. All right. We'll be four out. The another 
four-ish hours, and you start to see the sun come up a little bit. Um, the vines have started to kind of succeed a little bit, where you can kind of see the sky. But again, still ten-foot walls in all direction, except for one open pathway. Does an open pathway have a wall of thorns around it? Too? Yep. That's fun. Mm. Walk the opposite way through the door, like, yeah. see ya. I'm just gonna be like, alright. Do we know which direction we got moved at all? You have no idea. All you know is from where you were, the thickest part was to the north. Yeah. And then you got booped, and now you're in the thicket. So I would assume, based on your knowledge of nature, you would guess that you were teleported somewhat north more from your current location. Wasn't this what Fluke said when he flew up when we left home? Because extra sauce and extra The thickest part was what we passed by on our way to where we were before I flipped this here. I guess we should go south. Okay, what was that? Oh, okay. So I'm going to go towards the south part of the wall. And then... I can't get any juice. I'm just going to follow. It's chip, but it's not. I'm going to just... I'm going to be like, alrighty. Bye. <laughs> and then Misty step 30 feet. What? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm okay. Um. Side. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> no, no. You said no as you short. as you misty oh. step and you move, um, I'm gonna need you to give me a uh, dexterity saving throw, good sir. Dexterity. Yep. Well, it's a misty step as a teleport. I'm aware. Okay. Oof. Let's see. <coughs> oh, Sixteen. <laughs> Okay. So as you um, as you teleport the thirty feet, um, you you as you come to land, you land just perfectly to not get stabbed by any of the thorns that you still landed in. And as you look around, it again is nothing but ten foot high, ten and as far as you can see, thick. In all directions of vines and thorns and brush. It's a baby. How's it looking over there? It's thorny. So, the teleport didn't work. I mean, I'm fine. Um, would fire get me out of here? I don't know. Probably not. I'm going to go ahead and just miss you step back. Okay. Only one way to find out. Didn't Misty step like a normal spell? Second level. Second level what? spell. Mm-hmm. What? That's two. Did that come here? Okay. There was no other adverse magical effect. Um, I'm gonna light a torch and stick it on the wall. Okay. Yeah, it goes. Give me an attack with the torch. Just roll me a d20. And add your strength modifier. Eight. Oh, you hit. Roll me a d6. Just a straight d6? Yeah. One. You do one point of damage to the wall. Um, I broke one thorn. Good job. Yeah. Do any of them catch? It catches for a second and then drops. I'm just gonna cast Produce Flame and then see if that does anything because it's magical. Okay. Oh, that oh wait, no, that should have doubled. My bad. So two points of damage. My two bad. points. Two points of damage. I broke two swords. Okay, so Produce Flame. So that is gonna auto hit. So roll me damage. Off about the people. Seven. Seven. Okay, doubling to fourteen. A little bit of the, a little bit of the wall started to burn and fade away a little bit. 
Oh my god, I'm using my last spell slot. Mm -hmm. It's working! Away. This is <laughs> fun. I'm gonna use my last second level spell slot already mm -hmm. and cast Flaming Spear. Okay. <laughs> and then just push it. Yep. <laughs> that works. <So. laughs> yep. Okay, so you create this little ball of sphere and just keep moving foot. it. Yeah, a little five foot sphere and just keep pushing it. Foot. And every once in a while it hits the wall, keeps flaming, flaming. And a five foot cube does 30 damage to, to the wall, moves on to the next one. Another five, another five feet, thirty more feet of damage. It keeps going, and you keep doing this over and over and over again. You keep, you travel for about a mile, till eventually the sphere just pops out, and you are now back in the open forest. Wow! That was but you cool. are still long way away from where you teleported that was cool. from. How'd you do that? Magic. <laughs> I don't know how I do fire. I'm not supposed to do fire. Well, it's still cool. I'm a fish. You're unique. <laughs> you're a unique seal. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you're a unique fish. <laughs> yeah, because I should have had you make an attack for each of it, but the AC for the wall is five. It's not an attack, it's a dex save. Well, it's an AC of five wall, so I just wanted to let you know. If you were, uh, if you were a storm sorcerer, you could be a fish fry. <laughs> 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 so yes, so <coughs> All right. so We didn't what? see her, so that's good. Well, we should keep walking away from her. You keep heading south? Sure. Okay. You, so you keep walking south. No, I um, just know I have a knowledge that after she's about down there. after about three hours you get to a clearing that looks rather familiar. I need either both of you to give me investigation checks, or one of you can give the other one advantage. What's your... Hmm. It's an intelligence check, and that's not what I'm good at. I have a plus one. So I have a minus one. Okay. You can have advantage. Congratulations. Yeah, because I would have got it. 21. Ooh. You're welcome. So, <laughs> as you're kind of looking around, um, you 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 instantly notice the smell of familiar spices from Gohan's cooking. Hey, Gohan's been here. You and you also kind of look around, and it's a, it's a little hard to find, but you eventually do. You just find this little tri-colored beagle symbol carved into a tree. With an arrow <coughs> pointing east. Cool. It looks like it was just recently carved. <laughs> There's ectoplasm. The poor tree. Is he gonna eat us? The tree? Yes, the tree. They it would have had to try and eat someone if they heard it. These things breeze. The trees. I know. I talk to them all the time. The trees speak oh, the that's cool. Within a matter of minutes, Just the beagle <laughs> and arrow disappear and is replaced with bark. Nerds. Oh, Nerds. That's cool. <laughs> uh, that's Are nice you tree? I guess we just you? follow the okay. arrow? I'm not a big fan of the picture. Alright, other party! Alright, so. Oh, everything's on fire! What's going on? <laughs> what? Whoop! Nice. Scene change! Split. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, flew back. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're breakdancing, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, scene change! Alright! <laughs> Other party! <laughs> so, how fast are you guys traveling? Walking speed. Walking, Walking speed. Okay. I'm I'll take the on it too. <laughs> Alright. What even happened? Everybody just ran up. What? What did you guys even do? Nothing. They camped. A lot of uh, role play. Yep. Alright, so. Um, so after. After a couple, couple hours. Um, you eventually. Um, 
make it to the edge of a tree line and as you do um, you look out and you see this very small hobble um, or not small I would say eh, I'd say roughly a medium sized hobble um, which you could only assume to be is the city of Madville Wow. I'm sorry, I missed that. We what? made it to Madville. You're Mad walking east. Okay. You made it to Madville after a few hours of travel from where you were. Okay, I thought you said there, it was a hovel. Yes, yeah, a hovel. It's a hovel. It's a hovel city. Okay. When, I, when you said a hovel, I thought you meant this, the whole building was the city of Madville. No, no. I was like, okay, that's one way to do it. I mean... No, it's a hovel. Well, I guess we find a tavern. They have it. Alright, I'm in for and a beer. Wait. Let's go. Okay. And wait. Be careful. And wait. The people from Madville that I talked to. I pressed back on the cab. And, um, I'm Captain Fox. They Hawks. seemed rough, to say the least. Oh, PTSD. Currently, I'm um, Captain Hawks right now. I guess let's go find the nearest place and cool. to sit okay. and wait. So, you guys head into town, and um, the as you look around, there's really only um, th three, I would say, notable things in the town as you walk but eventually you do find a building with a um, hanging outside the door is a or on the sign is a dagger that just kind of hangs and over uh, pointed downward and is a sign or an it's a sign, okay. a sign with a dagger, a dagger. as a symbol <laughs> and underneath it it says the topaz dagger Tavern. Well, I'm also currently Captain Hawks. So. I suppose we should go in. Imagine if in. someone recognizes yeah. you for your one million bounty. That would be quite hilarious. Ha! Uh, you know, the one million bounty is on the actual captain's body, not this. This is. Actually, no bounty is on this guy. Nothing on. Yeah, it was a completely different alias. It was a total. It was a fraudulent personality. So, um, as you walk in, um, uh, the appearance of this tavern is uh, very shabby, shabby, and it is of elven make. Um, but as you go inside as well, um, what's oddly strange about this tavern being a one floor, um, there seems to be, at least from the outside, when you walk in, when you walk in, it looks like that it's smaller on the inside. It's two stories, but there's a lot of doors throughout the entire tavern, both above and below, but there don't seem to be any stairways leading to the doors on the upper floor. But there just seems to be, the whole tavern seems to be filled with doors. They sell doors. That's, that's it. I go to the bartender and I say, hey, what's up with these doors, mate? What to do? I'm a gangster all of a sudden. <laughs> Well, to be quite honest, I don't know. We'll go in through one door, and you'll pop out another. Oh, it could cool. be fun. I'll give it a go. And sometimes you'll go through a door, and I won't see people for six months. Okay, I won't go <laughs> through a door. Door is it two rooms. I don't know. Not be staying but let's here. find out together, shall we? Um, no. 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 No? Why not just open a door and not go through? Just look through. 
Oh, that's not how it works. Well, you open the door, there's colors. You don't know what's inside until you walk through. And then when the door closes, poof, somewhere else. I have an idea. Who has rope? I do. Give me your rope. Give me your rope. <laughs> <laughs> Are you got tying it around your waist? I am. Somebody hold the other side. I open a door. I hold you back. <laughs> <laughs> I karate chop your feather in half. <laughs> Look at that! It's, um, uh, it could sever I... the rope, you know. Huh? It might not work. Are we you could be teleported to allowed at least to just hang out at the dining hall? Can oh. I count how many doors there are? Oh, yes, of course. You can. Fine, I keep the rope tight <laughs> on the roll <laughs> to the perception check. Perception check? Yep. Okay. What? One, two, the, uh, two. <laughs> five, eight, four, dang it. <laughs> Potato. What? I lost the... Is there a six oh, digit on my pan? Where's my thumb? My God, Where's my thumb? <laughs> Just sitting there. My god didn't teach me how to count. I lost a Oh, wait. <laughs> but as you look around, <laughs> as you look around, there are several. Um, <laughs> I got a six. Well, it takes you a little bit, but you would estimate, based on just your kind of quick looking around, there's about anywhere between 30 and 50 doors. I didn't need it. Thirty to fifty doors is okay. what Orion thinks. This is a tall. This is a tall. But as you also look around, you see that there are many um, swamp uh, tree dryads. There are gray-skinned dwarves, um, gray-skinned humans, um, all sort of just kind of like really weird-looking species that you've seen in past, but they don't seem to be just right. Like, there seems to be, like, a gray color on most of everyone's skin um, instead of, like, a um, a flesh that you would see that, like, that blood causes where there's, like, different, like, rows uh, through the skin. There actually seems to be, like, little blue veins that just pop through everybody's bodies as they just kind of all sit around. They seem completely normal, and they're acting normal, but they're just, their outward appearance is strange and odd. I uh, ask them why that is because it sounds crazy. I'm gonna <laughs> pull up a tarot to a table. Um, oh, yeah. And it's like, afternoon? <laughs> afternoon. Yes. I'm uh, traveling through the town here and um, I was. came across a rather unfortunate news. If I remember the tell correctly, this town was under attack, right? Attack. Hmm. I don't... I don't think so. Not a single man a dragon. coming by here? No. No. Am I, Archer, remembering the story wrong? No, you are. All right. You're remembering it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, I'm confusing myself now. <laughs> <laughs> well, seems unusual. Have you, um... Yeah. Have you traveled far out of Madville? This... Why would one leave? This place is fun. Fair enough, it is a l lovely small town. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you conversation. don't mind, uh, it, it seems uh, highly personal, but I, like I said, I'm a traveler and frankly new to the entire Isles, but uh, the war that has struck this land. Yes. Um, what do you make of it? Well, <laughs> the king. No. I. I like his plan. He wants to keep things the way they are. And I think that is an excellent plan. The queen wants to change things. That's not as fun as I would like to have happen. Because the outside world is boring. And no offense, but you all look boring. Oh, none I taken. <laughs> <Can I be>? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sad though. I would be a basic. No. There's too much color. <laughs> too much. 
Well, I think the gray looks excellent on you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we can't pull off that like, stuff. Like, no. like, mm-hmm. What is? What causes the gray? Depression. Okay. <laughs> is it just an effect of the town, or? Maybe. Maybe not. Interesting. And boom. Everyone I know is oh, a shade of this. Well, a shade of that. Shades. No. Is it, uh, <laughs> do I smell thick alcohol in their breath? No. Okay. What, what do you make of the doors? Have you ever been in one? Yeah. My friend, uh, let's see, what was his name? We didn't ask if your friend went, did you go through it? Well, if you're just interrogating a random person in a bar, bar. willing. <laughs> not well, acquiring information. I will start over. My friend Vera went through, and he never came back. Sad. Or did he? I'm sorry. I don't remember. Or is Vera me? Or is he you? Don't go through. No, it's definitely <laughs> not me. No, I'm um, very intrigued to go through a door. I'm. Glad that we had this conversation. How um, can something be fun if you don't? <laughs> and Luke steps away from the table, feeling rather annoyed. If you're if you're interested, I hear Vera is a really good cook. The bartender. No. Vera, my friend. You. Yes. B. You are your own friend? Yeah, Fluke uh, steps out. Uh, <laughs> I, <step in>. <laughs> <laughs> I would be my own friend. Yes. I, I want to talk to somebody you. about what happened with the man. I hope you have a good day or night or whatever it is. You're what man are you referring to? Uh, there was a man that was covered in blood. Okay. He was found here and taken. Who are you asking? Are you asking just in general of the bar, or are you um, asking the bartender? Probably the bartender. Okay. There was a man covered in blood. There was a man covered in blood, you say? What did he look like? Uh, give me a description. <laughs> he had mm. that dimple right there. That's all I remember. <laughs> a frailer man. He looked quite scarce. Yes, I think I remember him. He was, <laughs> he was here a few months ago. Months? Yes. Some of the people got mad and dragged him into the woods. I assume he's dead now. Oh, oh we saw him. Oh, well that's surprising. Yeah, he mentioned about... something about a dragon. Oh yes, he's somewhere in the forest. Well, good thing we're not out there, huh? <laughs> She's fun. Oh. <laughs> if I was to go through a door, which would you recommend? Uh, don't don't you. go through the red ones. The all red ones. <laughs> 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 I feel like everything's gray. <laughs> Just looking around like, oh boy. Everything is gray. I knew it! Different tones of gray? Okay, so. The pretty much the black doors don't go into. That's Essentially, right. kind of what it is is for you, the visual effects. Everything in here is like a gray scale, except for you all. You all are colored, everybody else is gray scaled. Oh, okay. right gotcha. There. We'll see the effect. Wonder, wonder, wonder. Um, we enter. What is the? How dare you! I did not catch on until. Roll the dice card <laughs> in front of the bartender. Oh, yeah. I Sorry, we didn't take. <laughs> I was like, colored gold here. Kinds <laughs> of colored egg. <laughs> what? Where did you find that? Why do you... I would like I to know as well. <laughs> Um, do you remember that uh, tree rex we fought? <laughs> yeah, oh the squirrels. Uh, this was on my person after the squirrels attacked me. Oh, you gave him the golden leg. Uh, yeah, yeah. He 
gave him a new we'll see. <laughs> you gifted a nut. He he looks over at he looks it over shines. at him and he's like, it shines. <laughs> and what pray tell is that for? I, I don't know. Can you tell me? <laughs> yeah. You're giving the bartender the acorn when you could have went somewhere. It looks like a golden acorn to me. I don't believe that's what it is. Okay. What are you hoping in exchange for the acorn, if that is what your purpose is? What are you willing to give us? It will just depend. Booties. What are you asking for? Booties. Uh -huh. uh, are you wanting information? Are you wanting drinks? Nut for nut. Are you wanting... <laughs> A door? Awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd be interested in the doors. What type of door? I uh, don't know there's different types. Oh, there's always types. There's puzzles. <laughs> there's death. Those ones are fun. There's also dream doors. Teleportation doors. You don't say. And sometimes. There's just no door. What? 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 Who's speaking riddles now? <laughs> you are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of interested in the dream doors. Is your dream Me door too. Or... <laughs> how many light, can I look around to see how many like light colored gray doors there are? Sure. Oh, that's perception, right? Yep. Yeah. So I'd probably. That's probably what I'd exchange it Eight. for. They all look the same to you. If we can go. Oh, dang it. If we can have passes through a dream door, that'd probably be good. I agree with him. What do you wish to achieve with this dream? Do you want to see the future? Your future, his future, her future, or is it more of a selfish dream? I'd like to see my future. Power, go. Could you see Body. the past? These bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there a door that could show you the past? <laughs> there may be doors that could show you how to change your past. Interesting. Um, I, I mean, I guess what we'd be looking for is probably guidance to find it. Oh, well, do they know where they're going? Well, I guess I wouldn't know that. But... You would have no idea. So. You fluke left a clue, and you're hoping that they would see it. You're welcome. Thank you. Think about just randomly rolling the D100. Yeah, so I think that nice. number door. Well, <laughs> walked out, didn't he? I don't know. Fluke, are you staying in the middle of the town or are you still in the tavern? <laughs> no, I walked out. <laughs> walked out of the tavern? Yeah. I'll join him. I'm afraid I'll get too much into the. So there's about 50 doors? Yeah, so the door. Okay, so. I'm looking for the future. How to solve the war correctly. You don't solve the war by knowing the future. You solve the war by doing it. Shut up! Don't you know that you know your fate? No, you if you know. could change your fate, <laughs> would, would you? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually my favorite movie. <laughs> Sorry. Pretty busy. Pretty good movie. I didn't okay. watch it. Anyway. So that's I'll what I, I'd exchange a card for, is if we can go through the dream doors. That can be a dream. Is it just one? Or two? Me as well. We have to have every day. <laughs> yeah, I've always seen I've always seen boots. Where you <laughs> on? What do you wish I to do? Watching you. I'm not going through a door. I know better. Let's just be two of them. You're watching me. Alright. Sweet.
sweets. Okay, he reaches <laughs> over <laughs> and grabs the acorn. Play. Bye bye, the man. acorn was precious and, for some reason. <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and he points to one of I the doors at the far end of the room, <laughs> and the door opens. <laughs> Which one of us is it for? Is there uh, both? You just just said both. Yeah, one yeah. door. Two bodies. My helmet kind of just forms over my head. I'm, I'm still in my plate armor. Are you ready? So, yeah. Alright, so you both walk <coughs> through the door, and the door closes. So, Gohan, you see this happen. They walk through the door, and the door closes. You've also watched Fluke and Thulna walk out of the tavern. I'm counting the seconds when they walk through the door. Okay. Alright, so, Fluke and Thulna, you are standing in the streets of Madville. Um, getting a rough estimate, estimate, you ga- you gaze that this ci- this small city is roughly in between a um, thousand and fifteen hundred people, just kind of milling around and moving. Um, two other big notable things in this city is there's a shrine uh, to the sky god uh, Estos. As well as a forge, known as Nissa's Forge. And no city hall. Nope. Well, no patron, but if any matriarch, patriarch of the town will exist. I bet it's inside that shrine right there. I think so too. For every. We had to the shrine. Yeah. For every chieftain of a tribe, they have to have some sort of morality. (laughs) Alright, so as you head to the shrine, um, it's this uh, large uh, stone um, uh, niche enshrining the holy symbol holy symbol of Yestos, um, the god of the sky. And, but as you kind of uh, walk and hear different stuff, um, people started to talk to it um, and um, kind of praying oh! out oh hoping to be blessed by the god because as they're saying or you hear a lot of conversations we know you can hear us, we know you're here you've revealed yourself before blah 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 Why? please talk to us because it is believed that the god himself sometimes walks among this city no, I'm a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what did they, what, they have a statue of Okay, totally unaware of that fact. Niche I, of the, of the, contain the holy symbol of Yestos. Is, is Yestos of, of, also of Yestos. bird-like? Yes. Don't. I will right at you. So, and his holy symbol is a hat. <laughs> He's a hat. So, you, so, you, so, Fluke, you would know this because you would recognize the symbol because this is one of the major gods of your culture. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and the Aarakocra worship him. Like I said, I'm no patron. <laughs> Maybe you should tell the I am your god. Yeah. I would slap yeah. you with your own face. So yeah, Yistos. So it's it's Y S D O S. Yeah. Uh, do I? Does my culture believe that it could that he could walk among people, or is it uniquely here? So uniquely here, this is what they believe. Generally, so okay. your your people would believe like you generally meet him in the sky. Yeah. When you're um, dancing. Unless uh, Fluke is unaware of that, and uh, he finds uh, a robed priest, priestess. And, um, excuse me. Yes. Uh, I was curious of him. Who? Who runs this town? I, I, I'm terribly confused about the recent events happening here, and uh, I'm passing through to uh, hopefully mend some things. Well, there is uh, a small court of aristocrats that govern the city, and they are led by a human male. 
named Clotha. <coughs> and how would I meet this Clotha? Generally, he walks among the city every once in a while, but generally you can find him at his estate. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's a average age uh, human male. Um, same thing um, from what you would get. He he would he would basically look like a normal looking human male. Um, late late thirties, early forties. Um, long hair, uh, goatee, beard, and just kind of normal looking. Um, he generally dresses in more finer attire than the other people of the city. Mm -hmm. Them normal or us normal? Them normal. Okay, so we're looking for a gray family. <laughs> <laughs> is the temple and or the people gray here? Yes. Okay. I, was really, I was really hoping you were going to commit to the crazy, everyone's crazy, like, Shiogorath type. <laughs> Who runs the city? No one does! They walk or skip! <laughs> Tea for everyone! <laughs> 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 <Pee> easy. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to go too crazy. I know, it's with, uh, stupid. With how <laughs> the shrine is set up, um, <laughs> does Fluke anything notice it? Like, yeah, we're doing this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really I want. I really want. Give me a religion <laughs> check. How are you gonna tell somebody's uh, wrong when you're doing it? Vantage me. Nope. <laughs> <Not seven. laughs> um, you're not a religious man. Based on Everywhere. based on your <laughs> understanding as within your travels, um, you really have no understanding of the worship necessarily. And if it's my own culture. <laughs> so based on the only thing that you would guess is besides them not trying to fly and meeting him in the air, they're doing... <laughs> okay. Please tell me. Okay. I know what to say then. I know what to say. It's like, <laughs> where are your wings? <laughs> also, I'm, I'm terribly sorry to say this, but you know that he doesn't really commune unless you go to him to the sky. Uh, yes. We're yeah. nowhere. We don't have feathers like you. <laughs> but you your dreams. <laughs> we have to run up the hill and jump off to meet him. But these people oh. don't need to know that. Oh. Insight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, what? Just checking malice, basically. That's. Ah, oh, come on. Wow, you're not doing great. I'm not. That's a seven. <laughs> I can just hear it. I can just hear it. Hard to read. Does not seem to have any ill intent. From what you can see. Yeah. Is that... It's not very, um, I don't know. It's not very cash money. <laughs> <laughs> not a uh, patron of the gods, but... Um, That's snacking. I don't know. I prefer truth than... Uh, what has to we? Truth. Would you like to take a skywalk with me? <laughs> Eat this mush. <laughs> I'm afraid there is a war going on, and it's time is of essence. Ah, oh, yes. Evanescence. <laughs> I have a question. He's gone. How's the time working? <laughs> no, please. We've been in there for like a week. Everyone's like, where's he at? <laughs> Wait, you're gone, gone. You're in a door. Uh -oh. I'm in the door. <laughs> Why are we splitting up? Because we're stupid. I don't know, man! <laughs> Why are you splitting up? Because I was annoyed. It's like, this person isn't giving me nothing. I'm done. <laughs> Okay, I, at this point, realization is like, Go on, is realizing, tell you to be is smart like, I'm are. not a good captain. I keep splitting up the crew. Who I'm, says you are a captain? <laughs> no, I'm speaking for him. Oh, well, Gohan. You guys are so not very good crew for not following your captain. I, I follow the captain. You're a good crew. <laughs> 
I'm not technically a part of the crew. You're not. <laughs> You're <laughs> still the captain. Yeah. I am fluke is panicking. Easily annoyed. Uh, <laughs> I sh- he's. Well, you don't even know. I don't that even he, know. You don't know he went. I don't even board. know that. Then <laughs> <laughs> just say no. Well, I already did say no. But okay. It, so no, you no, you no, do no, know no. that. I mean, is that why there are so many patrons here today? Is the war? They they seek hope. They seek justice. I mean, don't we all? But usually we seek hope for a reason, not just. I mean, are they missing something? Needing something? No kidding. I think they are looking for all what we need. We all need strength. We need hope. Thuna. <laughs> we need vengeance. I, I is like Thuna this this conversation. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Kill him. They speak some rhymes. They, yeah, I speak Oh, no, <laughs> you speak of rhymes. Well, I, I'm, I'm actually not well, like... He looks at his like, whoa, that's deep, man. <laughs> yeah, I speak in rhymes to them like, morality, purpose. Question mark? <laughs> Illuminati, third eye. <laughs> I will tell you this. We've heard rumors... That the king will be in town today. The king is dead. Why just rumors? <laughs> Luke is annoyed for it. Like, why just rumors? I mean, it's the king. <laughs> if the king is a king. I think they actually mean, yes, he's coming in. Why speak in such mysterious ways? <laughs> why act like a bimbo? <laughs> <laughs> Find me as a bimbo. <laughs> <laughs> bimbo, preferably. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Makes yeah, sense. Okay. Okay. I'm more of a Jimbo. Hurt <laughs> her. No more. Well, I guess we'll stick around for the ceremony. If you wish. Is the same wrong every year? That's what the priest said. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So setting up the so as as the patrons start to come and go, um, eventually um, she stands there and um, she begins to levitate and float above the rock. And she basically gives out this prayer um, that (coughs) that the sky would open up its mercies and would show kindness to this war to this city, as well as that hope will be brought to the people in these trying times, and that the. That Yidos would, or Yestos would, grant understanding to both the king and the queen in this war. But near the end, she also questions why he made the city the way he did, and why its people have to suffer in colorlessness. And chaos and misunderstanding. The, the city doesn't seem chaotic. It's just ultimately mysterious. Maybe we, maybe their chaos, chaoticness is more than we expected. <laughs> As speaking riddles. <laughs> more simple than you could ever imagine. They are true neutral in everything, including color. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, after this goes by for an hour or so, um, but with that, 
after the ceremony, she she ends her levitation, and she falls behind the the stone. And at about this time, as the people start to disperse, um, the two of you turn and you see Draxios and Laura walking in through the city. And they stand out like sore thumbs because, again, they are the only two in color besides it? the rest of you. Draxios, who made it? I get up and I spring to Laura and I give ah! her a hug. Like my child! <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Why are you speaking in riddles, mother? <laughs> 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 We're in a nice hole of thorns. There were thorns for miles. Go on, hey, they just went through oh. the door. <laughs> there was a dragon. Just pop out there. there was a dragon? Where? She, she, you she spoke won. already, Drax, so it's now you gotta finish the uh, thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she won. The next campaign shall be. <laughs> she won. Why she to dragon tales. I do this. <laughs> Every adventure you will hold. Uh, uh, she won. She won. Did she say anything else? I mean, I could have sold you to her. Well, she could have sold you to her. I just crumpled <laughs> on. I am now 100% believe. I start, laughing. I start laughing. I just crumple down and <laughs> I'm like, I'm nah. oh, quite complaining. I didn't sell you. We yeah. can go back if you want. No, I'm perfectly fine. See, get up, Bam. get up. <laughs> We're waiting for the mayor to come in. Mayor, mayor. King. Oh, we have the king coming. Well, where's the rest of the people? Oh, he hears. <laughs> Did you kill <laughs> Officer Evan? <laughs> They're in a tavern yeah. called the, the Top- mayor. This sounds like a blow. Topaz da- Dagger Tavern. I can't believe I remember that. <laughs> I'm surprised too because I. Why is it gray? That's a solid question. <laughs> Just as solid as this color. I wonder if my fire's gray. <laughs> Just uh. <laughs> burns down the. Burns Church. down the tavern. <laughs> no, it burns down the. Uh, I'll castle restore castle. color. Fire. <laughs> Look, everything's orange. It's orange and All gray. I know is, and then afterwards it goes back to black. I'm like, well, oh, that didn't work. What? I went through two oh. health potions. If you burn down the tower uh, and the I doors would be gone. I have one left too. No, they wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> They'd be inside. But I burnt through the most important one. Oh well. We're you supposed just, like, to talk to the king. Bury yourself in ash, Ooh. and there's just a has more tavern. information about this place. <laughs> is he coming Welcome today? Travelers. Yes. Where's the rest of us? In, in the a tavern. tavern. Should we go get them? No. <laughs> Let's just hang out here. <laughs> I go into the tavern. Okay, bye. <laughs> I feel like Gohan just sitting here like a stopwatch. Also like, have to find I'll go it's into the working. tavern as well. You walk into the barkeep. Of the town. Because yeah. although the king... Excuse me, is sir. the king. He's I'm in the tavern. biased for his war. I'm going to the tavern. Mm-hmm. All right, let's what go. The fuck okay, go. well, they're, <laughs> they were discussing something, so I was letting them finish before oh, I sorry. dealt with any of you. Yeah, you lead the way, then. Like we'll leave. Uh, I want to head towards the manor, but if you want to jump scenes. Okay. I too go to the manor. <laughs> Do you yeah. join us, Laura? No. I please. wanted to get a drink. <laughs> I found it. I kicked it. Okay, so... Not alcohol, just drink. Cool. Alright, so, as you as you both walk into the tavern, again, you see the same thing. Um, everything is gray, in a gray scale. Um, the tavern is filled with uh, different races. Um, all their skin in gray scale, except for a single colored humanoid. Um, Hi, Gohan, Gohan, as he stares at a door. What are you staring at? They and the room through. is filled with Who multiple walks doors. Through? But welcome back. <laughs> it's good to see that you're uh, hmm. alive. Wait, just to the bar. Uh, apparently, he talked to the lady dragon and was she was interested in him while I was asleep, and interested in taking me as a slave. That makes sense. That also makes sense. Everything yeah, makes sense. Too, moment, isn't sir, I've been. I didn't know Ryan. what I no. heard from the other room. Through the door. What, what idiotic decision made them do that? 
Apparently, some people walk scarred. through the door and never walk out. The lusty what? <coughs> the, the lusty Argonian day. That's what I said. <laughs> Would you like some spiked tea? You guys explain it, dude. <laughs> it's a novel series. Sure. It's like a sex like a series in Skyrim. It's a play. Go get some <laughs> spiked tea for us. <laughs> About the lusty Argonian to... maid. Oh, wait, well, oh, well, you already told me this. And I was like, it's a smart here. play in well, yeah. it's, 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 all, it's all, it's all wordplay. It's like, oh, no, God, no. how could I polish your spear? Oh, God, it's so please, no. big. Mr. Crouch, you get those it's like, oh, like, oh, don't oh, worry about the <laughs> talking about like <laughs> stuff and bread and all this. So, yeah, yeah, all yeah, these yeah. euphemisms. So you walk up to the bartender and he just looks at you and goes, who are you? I am me. Who are you? I am me. Who are you? <laughs> I repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up the twelve. What can I help you with? I want something to drink. I got that. <laughs> you put the loaf of bread in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> I drink it. <laughs> she be like soaked with wine. He was like, mm, what? Spicy. I thought what? it was the special. What do you want? The guy has anything you want and things you don't want. So I need to know what do you want or not want. Surprise me. That's I love that. Smacks you. <laughs> <laughs> Opens the door with like a suction. Just boom. Come on. <laughs> to the face. How much? <laughs> just put a plunger in his face. Surprise me. Okay, here's ten. Oh, you're gonna like this. Dies. Are you drinking it? Yep. Constitution saving <laughs> throw. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a good save. 35. Oh gosh. It's the good stuff. Rock. Good. Can I help you? Um, can I have some tea, please? Two cups with a shot of we only banana. Have gray roll. What kind of tea? Gray Earl. Uh, Earl Gray? <laughs> McDonald's tea. Hi, <laughs> tea. Do you fancy Gohan? I don't drink tea, oh, obviously. Gohan? Uh, Yorkshire. Uh, Yorkshire? Yes. There's Yorkshire. gotta be a. Yeah, oh, uh, oh, oh, Yorkshire tea, please. Oh, that's so funny. Mm. <laughs> it's like, if you were doing the fair mm. wild and all the like royalty mm -hmm. were named after teas. How much would that be? Earl Grey and Earl Lipton. Hmm? And Madame Lipton. Mm. That, Word. That's good. Thank and you. Duchess Chamomile. What? <laughs> what? Keep going. Dear God. <laughs> seven shots of tequila. I mean, <laughs> it's a bit more than seven. I, I like it. Thank you. Oh, like how much would stuff. that be? Two hundred gold. <laughs> <laughs> gold. <laughs> See, go on. It's quite hot. Ten gold for like both. Negative two. Already, I'll take ten. Oh, it was Thanks. seventeen shots of. Hmm? He's taking soap water. <laughs> oh, I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, it's water. <laughs> is that Dawn soap is unhealthy for fish. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Unless it's Dawn. <laughs> I was gonna say Dawn's always in the commercial Are you sink a duck? And stuff. I give him ten. <laughs> Not covered <laughs> oil. <laughs> You would have been if you were with that dragon. And then I give you your drink. So, yeah, so your, drink. your burps will now get, will produce bubbles for the That's next hour. That's great. Yay, so you're a legitimate <laughs> fish. You're, you're a go bubble on machine. You know, you know yeah. Dom, this soap is part of our chemical hazards. Like if we have a split open box, we have to go through the 40 minute process of treating it like That's a stupid. hazard. Yes, a serious chemical hazard. I get it, but so why? Because it's flammable. Was, um, so it's paint, but you know what I did? I just took a mop bucket to the paint that I spilled today, and I was like, oh, that was, <laughs> uh, that was like, no one fucking know. What? <laughs> that was just hot water. I think I did that at Walmart as a custodian, and it just like smeared it into the <laughs> wax. It just gave you hot water. Yeah, so like, it was like ate into the wax. And it, we don't it's have that for it, though, so. Yep. It didn't have a shot of bourbon in it, then? Oh. Well, it's just not just buy it. You just asked for mint tea. I gave you mint tea. It, it had oh. a shot of turban in it. You, you have yes. a tiny hat. <laughs> <laughs> um, I gave you mint own sprite. Yeah. No much. Don't sprite. I call this barbecue yeah. water. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alrighty. 
Why do you call it barbecue water? Uh, can I help you with well, anything else, or do I need to go away? Why is there no color? I burn this city. I'm gonna give you your cup of tea. Why why is is no He's just looking at me like, why is there this no is water? water. I don't know. Depends on who you ask. The people outside think the gods did it. The people in here think. Bleh. And what and did you think? <laughs> My ex wife, Linda. I Lyndon. think we're all just crazy. <laughs> And we were born like this. Cheers and you are the weirdos. Oh. Cheers. <laughs> Stop, Jack. Well, we're all unique. I'm going to start drinking now. No, you're the weirdos. That means we're unique, so. We are the weirdos, weirdos. mister. Unique weirdos. He just needs to, like, start lowering behind the counter. It's like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you just hear, like, a thud and him crawling away. Weirdos. <laughs> weirdos. I found a roach. Ah. You don't even see him, but you still see him here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's uh, coming from everyone. <laughs> humor, if you've never seen it, you need to watch someone do a Let's Play of uh, Jazz Punk. Jazz really, punk. yeah, okay. you would love it. All right. Oh, you want to play the door? So the what? Gun. And while yes. we're going. Okay. Next time yeah. on Dragon Ball Z. That's good then. Alright, so... Did you carve the tree? I thought it ate you last time. No, our captain did that. Oh, oh captain, my captain. So, Where what are you hoping <laughs> to get from this door? What? This door that you walked through. Yeah. Actually, really what about it? What are you seems hoping seems to super achieve super in this super future super door that you, or this dream nice door that you went through? That's a good thing, I guess. Oh, uh, well, mine. So he also made was, slavery again. Or um, kind of. The best possible way to solve the war. Excuse me. That's what I wanted. Yes. And then he said he had a. You, well, yours is more selfish. You know, more people. You love. Uh, so he wants he wants to try it's it's multiple things he's been looking for he's looking for uh, clues or maybe even visions of his past maybe to see what lies ahead in the future or even to commune with his god in some way to try and find more answers alrighty so Sorry, I got I got to do lots of thinking at the moment. Okay. It's eleven forty-five. Do you just want to stop there? Nope. I'm trying to get something better. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need both of you to give me. Give me persuasion checks, both of you. Okay. Roll up, roll up so low. I got 12. 70 plus 5. Oh, you don't get to be Plus 5 to persuasion. You don't get to be moody. Helen. Yeah. She's scary. Uh, persuasion? 20. Alright, so you walk through the door and you um, are given a you're given a vision of the king and queen. Um, so you see um, you see a you see a female with uh, ginger uh, frizzy hair Gingy. that's pulled back uh, to reveal a lean warm face um, she has big round green eyes um, that are set rooted um, in their sockets um, but there's um, a sense of affection in her eyes um, that has that seems to have come to appreciate 
the little things of life. Standing across, sitting across from her is a man with uh, blue shoulder length hair almost um, and it almost fully covers um, a, his, a full sad face. He has round violet eyes set lightly within their sockets but they seem to watch slowly um, over the room and there seems to be a feeling of disconnection in his eyes. Existential dread. But as they sit there and have this conversation, um, it bounces back between um, two main ideas. Um, the one conversation ends with um, the possible compromise of the Spring Island staying the same way that they always have, but their but communication is open again with the outside world. But then on the other coin, the Spring Islands open up the borders of the forest and allow it to move into the current time, but to make sure that the traditions are kept alive and technology doesn't take over the islands, there's going to be a, a kind of shift there. They're basically meaning that the island will open up to the normal timeline, but the advancement of technology will not be allowed to touch the island. Everything will stay as it is, except for the islands will be opened up to the rest of the world. It's just a, it's just a civil discussion. Those are the two compromises that you can come up with that both parties would possibly be agreed for. Okay. All right. I mean, as long as I those are my you know possibilities, you know, I'll I'll just try to remember that. And at the end of it, a door pops open. Mm. Okay. Am I sharing this experience with... Yes, with Orion. You both see the exact same thing. Okay. Mm. Well, I guess we'll get back before we go through the door, then. I suppose so. All right. Uh, roll me a D. Well, how ridiculous do I want to make this? Just roll me a D twenty. I got a 13. Cool. Okay, so as you both step out of the door, um, Orion, you step out and you are um, standing in the middle of the forge as you walk out. And Evan, as you step out, um, you step out of the door, and you are, um, you basically step out of a personal residence at the far end of the town. Okay. Am I lost? <laughs> um, as you step out, you see Fluke and Thulna coming directly towards you. I will head that direction. To you. <laughs> yes. I'll meet you halfway. Oh, okay, I see. Do we see him? Yep. You just see him walk out of a house. What? Is it a manor? There it is a manor. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. We need to, hey, turn, turn around. <laughs> turn back around. <laughs> uh, we need to get Orion first. 
Where did he? Where did did you not? Is Ryan not with you? He was. <laughs> These doors are tricky. Look around. How far is the forge? Um, from where you are, it's maybe a mile or two. But not like eye distance. Like you could see it. Like you could see the smoke rising from a specific part. Oh, so I wouldn't know he's there though. No. Okay. I was gonna say, well, he's somewhere in town. No, yeah, that's okay. why. That's why I believe he's somewhere in town. Yes. Yeah. The door. I did not. I was not in wherever I just walked out of. Are, are you telling me that you tried to warn the doors? Yeah. Uh, there's... Even though you could have risked being gone for months. Sometimes it's... It's a gamble. It's worth the risk. It's a gamble. It's always worth the risk. He's I gambling. like gambling. But... We both know time is of essence. Well, we have our two solutions to a and peaceful right. end to the conflict now. And I, I present the options. Heading to uh, is the leader of the town, not necessarily the uh, founder or mayor or anything like that, but the leader nonetheless, um, if you wish to join. Yeah, I'd like to collect Orion first. We should I, find him. I, where would we ever find him? Uh, question. What do you have on you? Um. Are you actively doing anything? Like, is he is he in the forge? Like fire, or is he? <laughs> is you he... don't know. <laughs> no. I haven't got to describe that to him yet. I'm doing you first. Okay. Let you love, bro. Gay. Well, I was gonna say right. if, I, if, if he didn't come out with me. I'd probably use locate object to find something on his person to figure out where. Well, he's always talking about that helmet of his. But it's a ma it's magic, thing. isn't it? It's not an actual helmet. What did I roll? Yeah, you rolled halfway. Uh, really, yeah. I do not have tangible. I do have an amulet on my person, like on my chest. Yeah, whatever your holy I'm symbol is, sure that's probably what I'd be using. Because it is. So yeah, that's what I'm using. I'm I'm looking for his personal. Clockwork amulet. Crap. You get a ping towards the forge. <laughs> He's that way. Ping. Someone's tracking my location. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You've been spotted. <laughs> all right. So, are you all heading towards the forge? Uh, I'll. I won't head in the manor, but I'm not heading towards the forge. I don't think you can track me like that. Hmm. So I don't think you would be able to track me like that. Well, I think... I think... I don't want to look up the rules. I'm pretty sure that was right, though. No, I'm saying you could probably track him like that if he doesn't have it in a specific area, but, like, I don't think you could track me physically like that because all my stuff's in the handy sack when I haven't told anybody that I have a handy sack. So it's, well, just, it's like a giant backpack. You don't, you don't just secretly. You're, just like, you're not a scaring yes, character. But it's, it's like a normal backpack. It looks like a normal backpack, but it works like a bag of holding, oh, yeah. where it's literally a pocket dimension, dimension inside the bag. And you have to name such object by name, not just backpack. You have to say. Well, yeah, no, but naming an item in the thing, it's it's on a different plane, so he would not be able to locate mm -hmm. it. But he also can just say backpack because it wouldn't actually... Yeah, he could say Draxos' backpack and that would ping. Uh, would it? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that would ping. I don't know if it would. Yeah, that would ping. It says, um, can't locate if any thickness of lead, even a thin sheet, blocks direct path. So, my stuff in yeah, but a, but a pocket dimension is not on the same plane. No, 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 no. no. I, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not in a lead box, yes. Okay. His amulet is not in a sure? lead box. He's in the forge. It's not in a lead box. <laughs> the forge is made, made of lead. lead. <laughs> so, um, yeah. but as you uh, walk in through this door to the forge, um, Orion, um, you see a uh, female dwarf 
um, just hammering away. Oh, wait, on he's a walking piece of into. Metal. Yeah, he's the walking forge, into the not forge. Out of it? Yep, oh, no. into the forge. Okay. Um, and as you and as you walk oh. in, um, she just kind of looks up at you and goes, "What? <laughs> what do you want?" Oh yeah. <laughs> Where am I? This is Nissa's forge. And I'm Nissa. Hello, Nissa. Oh, okay. I like her. She's a spoiler. What the It's a dumb joke. You're a dumb I'm still joke. in the, I'm still in Madville, right? <laughs> I was gonna say, but I didn't wanna <laughs> Do I look gray? Yes. Well then yes. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure I'm not dead. Do the not Way yet. pig sing. Hey, yo. <laughs> That's comforting. What are you making? A sword. <laughs> Bread. Really short bread. What are you calling a sword? Sword is like a bread. <laughs> Just a regular sword. Do you make magical items? Sometimes. What kind? You want. She sounds like she smokes like 15 packs a day. Didn't you make a magical helmet? I thought you were eating that again. Depends. I, I made armor. But a helmet can be <laughs> difficult. What would you need? you want the helmet to do. Well, obviously to protect my head. Well, then you don't need it to be magical. I would like extra protection. <laughs> she hands you a thimble. <laughs> magical thimble. This armor is... That was the joke. Thank you. What was it? The Avenger Toe. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I immediately thought too. That armor is so. <laughs> that armor is not. <laughs> Might be able to make it work. How long would it take? A couple days, I'd say. Oh. I do have quite a bit of time. Dylan just walked away, but I think that's where we'll call it for tonight. Ready?